before you start your trip, we'd like to take you through some of our guidance for dealing with ropes and knots when on board your boat, so you know what to expect when you arrive. It's really important that you keep your ropes clear at all times. Stowing your mooring ropes when they're not in use and checking that you're not trailing them in the water when you're underway. When you're moored up for the night, make sure your knots are well tied. There are three main knots you'll want to know for your holiday on the broads. The first of these is the clove hitch, which is commonly used for mooring to a post. Hold the rope in both hands, then pass the end in your right hand under that in your left. Slip this loop over the post and then repeat the process. Pull the rope tight around the post to secure. The bowline knot is used to make a loop in the end of a rope or for tying two ropes together. It's also useful for securing a mooring rope to a ring. Make a small loop and pass the end of the rope back through it, then behind itself again. Pull the end back through the loop once more and pull tight. The final knot you'll want to know for your trip is the round turn and two half hitches. This can be used on a post or ring. Loop the rope twice around the post, then turn it back around itself once and pull tight then pass it around again and pull tight once more. You'll get the opportunity to try out these knots when you collect your boat, but if you have any questions or concerns at any time during your holiday, you can call your hire boat provider for advice and assistance on the number in your skipper's manual.